but it's a long road to recovery after you try to rebuild after a fire job. Yeah, still nice to focus on those little glimmers and the tough times, though, because obviously we're in the midst of wildfire season right now, and the devastation does continue up around the McKinney Fire, four lives being lost, and a lot of that blaze still really firing up because of the heat inland. Definitely cooler comparatively out at the coast. That's not smoke you're looking at, just some low gray out that direction. Most smoke from the McKinney Fire is being sent out of state. And as for the Oak Fire and the Washburn Fire near Yosemite National Park, smoke not a big contr uh, contributing factor anymore as crews start to gain the upper hand on those blazes. Uh, McKinney Fire, on the other hand, still a lot of work to get done there. And today is going to be another scorching hot day inland. We do have monsoonal moisture firing up thunderstorms as we speak for portions of the deserts of southeastern California. We'll take the moisture, but it is a lot of it in a short period of time. Why we saw that flooding in Las Vegas last week. As for the Bay, comparatively really calm for us and definitely a clearer morning than yesterday. This high pressure ridge is pushing in that monsoonal moisture as well as the heat. Sierra Nevada sees another round of thunderstorms possible this afternoon. Anytime you're talking lightning in the Sierra especially, that is upping your risk of fire danger. Here in the Bay Area, a couple of drizzly spots at the coast. Aside from that, mostly sunny skies today. Tomorrow morning, we'll kick things off with some grayer skies to start and then cooler temperatures during the afternoon. Today is our last day with as many 90s in the forecast as we're going to be seeing. Tomorrow, most of our inland areas settling down into the 80s. 60s and 70s for SF today. 60s at the coastline, 70s to 80s along the Bayshore with Burlingame at 82 degrees. Foster City down through Mountain View, solid 80s. While a few 90s in the South Bay like Morgan Hill, Campbell and Cupertino. Fremont Hayward up to San Leandro in the 80s. Livermore over to Concord in the 90s. While Oakland, Richmond over to Vallejo, comparatively comfortable in the 70s. Antioch and Vacaville are very hottest at 97 and 98 degrees. Tomorrow starts our trend of 80s inland, cooling even further on into Monday and Tuesday of next week. Bayside and coastal areas remaining steady in the 60s to 70s. Getting another